What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to download and install OBS. Now I have at least over 20 tutorials listed down I'm going to be doing on OBS, however if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. For those that don't know what OBS is, OBS is a free software that allows you to stream from your PC. So the first things first we're going to head over to Google and we're going to type in OBS. Just search on your keyboard and as you'll see this is it right here. Select the download, also a link will be in the description, I'm just showing you this way in case something does happen to the URL and it may change. So from there as you can see it supports Windows, Mac OS and Linux. As you can see there's also two different versions, there's Classic and Studio, we'll get into them in a minute. So obviously I am on Windows so I would select Windows and now there's Classic or Studio, which one do we pick? Well currently it is set to Studio and as you can see at the bottom here, this tells us what Studio gives us. It's a complete rewrite of the original OBS from the ground up, with the main goals being multi-platform support, a more thorough feature set and a more powerful API. As for the classic, it's just the original open broadcast which supports 32-bit and 64-bit versions of Windows. Now if you don't know if you're on 32-bit or 64-bit, then I'll show you how to get to it now. So open up control panel, come to system and security, come to system and as you'll see right here my system type is a 64 bit operating system. So whatever yours is, yours can be 32 bit or 64 bit. Now for those that are on 64 bit operating system, you are legible to get the studio. But if you're on 32 bit, you can only get the classic. However, obviously I'm legible to studio which is probably the better version. So I'm going to be getting that one. Now over here as you can see, you can get the latest Windows release 0.15.2 that is the version of OBS that is the latest version and as you can see it says download OBS studio but as you can see below it says download OBS studio with the browser source plugin included below so which one do we pick well it's completely up to you now if you're wondering what browser sources are well in OBS you can add custom scenes and then for the scenes of your streaming software, it will enable you to use web based content such as Flash and JavaScript applications. So it's completely up to you if you're going to be using Flash or JavaScript applications. For me, I'm just going to be selecting download OBS studio. I'm just going to save it to my desktop and as you can see, it's going to begin to download. It's only 38 megabytes, so it shouldn't take too long. While we wait for the download, because my connection is very, very bad. I just want to say I am going to be making more on OBS and I actually want to start helping out streamers as well. So it's not just going to be OBS, I'm also going to be making more about overlays and other third party applications you can use with OBS. And like I did say at the start of the video, if you have videos to request with OBS, then let me know in the comments or on Twitter. I have about 20 videos already lined up, so uh, hopefully you're looking forward to one. Okay, so as you can see, it's done and it's on my desktop right here. We're just going to double click it, select yes, and now we just go through these steps. So we press next, you just agree to their terms, install, and it's going to begin to install. And here's just the details. And as you can see, it is completed just like that very quickly. And now we can check this to run OBS once we select finish. And that is what we will do here. Another license agreement. You just have to agree to it. And this is what OBS looks like. Now to some, it may be very, very confusing. However, I'm going to have a complete tutorial going through everything on OBS and a lot of other tutorials that will help you get through with the best streams. Anyway, so that is it for this video. Hopefully this video is useful and I hope you're looking forward to the OBS tutorials I have lined up. Again, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate and peace.